Hello and welcome back to Adore Beauty's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about hair, specifically the new GHD Thin Wand. So in case you've missed it, this is it. It is the GHD Thin Wand and it is 14 millimeters. It's supposed to create really beautiful waves, tight curls. It can do a variety of different things, but we're gonna do it on my hair, which is very long. She's got a lot of hair. It's also quite frizzy, as you can see. I am definitely due for a keratin, but I'm just gonna open up the box and show you guys what you get. So this is my first time using it. What I get today is gonna be a surprise for me. It's gonna be a surprise for you. It's gonna be a surprise for everyone. What I have done is I have watched YouTube tutorials, so I do know what I'm in for. This is it. The wand is really long, which is great. I did do tutorial on the Dyson Air app and the biggest I guess frustration I had with that is that even the long barrels don't necessarily take a whole strand of my hair because it is super super long my hair is like 22 to like 24 inches it kind of like fluctuates between the two you could do it downwards and spiral or you could do it up horizontally it's really your call I think for this I'm going to alternate because I think alternating is gonna give me the most natural curling pattern. I am very interested to see how this goes with my frizzy hair type. As the tool is heating up, I am going to section my hair. Sectioning is key. I also did notice it came with this very interesting glove. If I look confused, it's because I am confused. I did get invited to the GHD launch event of this and I did ask the woman um, to give me like a very Carrie Bradshaw spiral curls. I don't know if it was a mistake. I wasn't sure I loved it. It was like a bit too tightly coiled for me. So instead of taking really thin sections, which is what she took, I think she literally took like this thin a section. I'm gonna take thicker sections because the thicker sections you take, the less, I guess, intense it's gonna look the result at the end. I'm gonna take sections this large. Would you say this is an inch and a half? And I'm gonna alternate the curling pattern. So I'm just gonna pull that out. Oh, look at that, very coiled. It is quite straight on the ends. Maybe I will just take it like once more so it's not super straight. I think it is all trial and error. I feel like that looks a little bit better. I should also mention you definitely need to put heat protectant throughout your hair. If your hair actually doesn't hold the curl very well, GHD do a really good heat protectant. It's like their curl spray. I used to have it, but I don't have it anymore. It's a little tackier. So the curl does kind of adhere to I guess the hair a little bit better, um, but you need to heat protect in your hair for sure. I'm gonna keep going. I might even take chunkier pieces because I'm starting to realize how much hair I have. Okay, I think I have to change. It is too hot to be doing this in a sweater. I have just noticed some beautiful sweat patches. Be right back. I'm in a t-shirt feeling a lot better. I've really lost track of the hair. The one thing I did learn from the um, event was that you don't want to touch the curl because the more you touch it, the more frizzy it's going to go. So I'm trying my hardest to not touch it and just allow it to cool and set in the shape. Maybe I'm going to understand the function. Oh my gosh, I can see this going horribly wrong. I think I'm going to have to do this vertically. Oh, this is quite tricky to do on this side. I actually curled my hair on Mardi Gras just using a normal curling wand. And I've gotten quite good at curling my hair without necessarily needing to look into a mirror, especially my normal curling wand. And I actually ended up burning my um, shoulder quite badly. It was like a third degree burn. And ever since, I'm just so on edge about burning myself so please be careful when you're using this tool because it is a longer barrel i think it'd be quite easy to just casually nick your shoulder also doing it horizontally is so much better for this than doing it down oh that is a much much better curl the purpose of this is so that you can hold the the very ends onto the wand i have since figured it out please observe like this Oh, 
beautiful. Okay, so I've done the first layer and I definitely did this side tighter than this side, but that's okay. I think it's all gonna come together towards the end. I am gonna get a clip and just clip this back. Okay, I am done with the second bit and I can already see some of this frizz forming. I think though that's like the part, like part of this kind of hairstyle and the beauty of it is that it is a little natural, a little more textured. Another thing I would say is the longer you hold it, the tighter the curl. This has truly given me an arm workout and to think I have to go to the gym after this. Now all the pieces from the hair, I always like to curl away from the face just so it frames my features and my face better. So curling the final piece out just to frame my face. Okay, a moment of truth. Let me turn this off. Oh, oh, this is a lot. This is definitely a lot. Have I missed a bit? Yes. The good thing is when you're done, you can clearly see anything you've missed. So when I was there, they told me to use your fingers. They also said to use oil. So I do have some oil. This is hair oil that I just usually use in my hair. So I'm just rubbing my hands with the oil and they said to just go through the hair and use your fingers to pull it apart. Because what the oil does is that apparently it like holds the moisture of the curl and it, it it basically makes sure that it, it separates without going frizzy. That being said, this is my first time oh, using it and I think I am having regret again. Actually, this is looking okay. I just think it's about figuring it out with your hair type. And if it gets too buffy, you can always just, I think, scrunch the curl back together. Okay, this is kind of okay. Let's try this side. I also think this hair looks quite nice when you're um, flipping it around. Like this looks a lot better, very disco. Another thing I know you can do just in general with curls is if you wanna loosen them, you can pull them down. Scrunch and pull is my new technique. Because my hair is so long and it's so thick, it's weighing down when I flip it to the side. So I've grabbed some texturizing spray. I'm pretty sure this is available from Adore. It's the Color Wow Style on Steroids Performance Enhancing Texture and Finishing Spray. So it's like a setting spray for the hair. It does have more tack to it. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I've also done my signature put a classic gold hoop on. Next time I'm gonna go much thicker cause I do prefer the thicker strands um, and the way that looks on my hair. I don't want it super tight, but I was born with this type of hair. So this is the hair I was born with. It was like a ringlet curly and like this caramel color. So it's kind of like fun to go back to this. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this very long chit chat, tutorial, first impressions style video. And if you did, um, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see other hair tutorials. Overall, the verdict is I would say eight on 10. I like it. I just need to figure out how to use it a little bit better. You can always find me on Instagram at AliciaOjwani underscore. Or if you have this one, let me know how you use this one because I'm always looking to learn tips and tricks when it comes to hair. I feel like you can never have too much knowledge. Bye.